tender, tender, very light dough. Sauce-like, so to speak, we see how such a jam state is already forming on my skimmer. That's what we need. The pie just moves all over. I assure you, having cut such a piece, is just a holiday. Hello everyone. My name is Peter White. Today let me introduce myself, our channel and the first video that comes out specially for Thanksgiving Day. I'll show an interesting classic pumpkin pie recipe. To cook it, I need the following ingredients. Pumpkin. Two types of puree, sea buckthorn and passion fruit. I will mix them at the same time. I also need honey. You can take flour or any other type. I am adding the honey right away. Two types of puree and honey I backquote they mixed. I also have the cream here. The fat content is 30%. You can also use less or more. It is up to you. For me, thicker cream is better. I am using 33%. Condensed milk. Which I mix with cream to free up a cooking surface for you and also butter, yolk, sugar with starch and cinnamon. I cut the pumpkin. Here is the kind of pumpkin which comes without seeds. It is very convenient. I just need to peel it up. I don't need the whole pumpkin. A little bit I will leave for other dishes. Some of it I will use. So, I cut the pumpkin. Now I will cut it into medium cubes, about a centimeter thick. Here we go, beautiful. Today we will have a pie from a very famous Tyrolean dough, which we will cook a little later, with such a wonderful pumpkin filling with a variety of mashed potatoes and seasonings, and also a cool berry sauce, which is in my opinion, a cranberry sauce. I have prepared a pumpkin. As I said, I have already mixed the cream with condensed milk. I also want to add the yolk here to empty the container. And I'll take a bar to melt the sugar into caramel. Now I want to leave a reminder on our cool board so that you can see what we are preparing today. pumpkin pie. Now I want to melt the sugar into caramel. To do this, I turn on the oven, put the sugar on the stove, and begin to gently melt the sugar into the dry caramel over medium heat. The most important thing is not to bring the sugar to a boil, otherwise it will burn out and give an unpleasant aftertaste of burnt caramel. Therefore, we constantly stir the sugar. The sugar will gradually melt. I use thick bottomed pans for this. If we use a thin one, the caramel will burn at the edges. That is an important life hack. I use thick bottomed pans for this. Sugar is almost ready. Here we get such a beautiful caramel. Next I pour pumpkin into this caramel. Let the pumpkin release some juice. Do not stir much. Add a little bit of butter on top and let it sweat a little. The pumpkin begins to release the juice. Caramelize with our dry caramel. The flavor. I wish you could smell it. On the top the oil gradually melts. I do not touch it. 
I let it dissolve under high temperature. Perfect. The smell of pumpkin with caramel is something incredible. You can also add the cinnamon here, for me it will be too strong. Strong flavor. I prefer to add it to the base for the next time. Here we have sugar, cornstarch, potato, and cinnamon. Cinnamon will not dominate so much if you mix it at this stage, but you can also add it here, there will be even more flavor. Creamy caramel flavor with hints of pumpkin that has already released its juice. It is stewing at the moment in a saucepan. This is insanely cool. There is no need to rush at this stage. The juice from the pumpkin should boil down and the caramel should melt completely. Therefore, slowly, I stir a bit, but at the same time I let it boil down. Guys, I was just thinking. What if we hide a secret letter in this video, maybe a word. The letter will be somewhere in the video, maybe on the table, maybe right on the board, look, write in the comments the word that you found in the video, for participating in this lottery. And take a chance to win valuable culinary gifts. Caramel gave its own. I have an excellent result, the caramel has thickened. The pumpkin is almost cooked. I pour our mixture into two types of puree, sea buckthorn, passion fruit, and honey. I have mixed them in advance and now I add them to the bulk. Since the caramel quickly becomes thick, the pumpkin does not have time to boil well. And at this moment, extra liquid is required. For this we use puree. But not just a puree. We took sea buckhorn, passion fruit, and diluted it with honey. Imagine how cool this vitamin mixture is during this fall. The aromas became strong. It's just something that is not being transmitted by the camera. The operator is already fainting. Let it stand for another two minutes and continue cooking the filling. The cooking process is a little tricky, but worth it. Believe me, this aroma, this aftertaste, it is incomparable with anything. Here is the perfect balance of puree, vegetables, seasonings. It's just a vitamin combo. The base is almost complete. Let it evaporate a little more and I will proceed to the final part of the preparation of this filling. So, our caramel has evaporated in two minutes, and we will also spend about two minutes so that the puree is also absorbed into the pumpkin. The total cooking time with caramel, pumpkin and two types of puree is approximately five minutes. The mass has become thick enough, and now I want to take out the pieces of our pumpkin from the liquid part. The pumpkin should be soft, but don't overcook it. I am adding cream mixed with condensed milk and yolk to the saucepan. And also here I will add dry ingredients. A thickener called cornstarch, sugar and cinnamon. Now I'll take the whisk. I had to run to the store for the whisk, forgot it. We continue cooking. Here I have cream mixed with the condensed milk and yolk. Separately, I have starch with cinnamon and sugar. Sugar is added here so that large lumps do not form. And the mixture is carefully combined with the liquid. I turn on the oven. I start warming up. Here I pour in the previously prepared juice from the pumpkin, which we drained. And mix the mass. I have mixed it. Add cinnamon, sugar and starch and mix quickly. The starch and yolk will thicken our custard, and we get such a custard filling. I mix abundantly from the center, around, so that nothing burns anywhere, and does not bring it to a boil, just heat it up, heat it up, 
Heat it over medium heat until the mass thickens. The effect has already begun. I can feel the two ingredients being brewed. And I get a nice custard. Fine. Ready. I add pumpkin here. I change the hand tool to a spatula and mix. Ready. The cream is mixed with pumpkin. The cream is ready. In total, it took me 10 minutes for this beautiful cream. But the aroma is simply divine. Look at the consistency, at the color. This is just something unimaginable. Super caramel color. And a pumpkin. Just something crazy. And let's start making the dough with you. For the dough, I need flour, butter, which I will add to the flour. I also add sugar, pumpkin seeds, yolk here, a nozzle, a skimmer, either manually or in a mixer. I will do this in a mixer. It's completely mixed into a single dough. This will take me about half a minute, and I can already lay out the dough in a mold. Curry can be added to the dough if desired. This will add color. I will not do this. I like the natural color of this dough, because we have a look at how caramel filling turned out, lovely. I have almost everything ready. Here is such a very tender, 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 very light dough. Now I will take a baking sheet. I will use this form today. A sheet of parchment, aka baking paper. And this is the perforated form. I will put our dough into it. We just take it with our hands. Without any problems, we begin to form the bottom. Forming the bottom. Forming the bottom. I love using whole seeds, but you can also grind them. Not sparing. Not sparing the dough I added around the edges. This dough is delicious. Don't be afraid to make it tight enough. The dough rises quite well, so I spread the dough just below the mold. Such a basket turned out. To it, I add our ready-made cream. Like this to the center. And align. The cake was shaped and coated with our lovely custard. And now I will put it in a 160 degrees oven for 40 to 50 minutes. Well, while the pie is baking, it's time to make the sauce. And for the sauce, we need three simple ingredients. This is puree, sugar with pectin. I have pectin in citrus fruits. I use citrus pectin, he's an H. This is our thickener. And I also took cranberries for this recipe. Now I'm going to heat the puree. Stir the sugar and pectin while the puree is heating. And I will start pouring it drop by drop. This is our mixture, a thickener with sugar in puree. Citrus pectin always emphasizes the taste of the dish, the taste of puree. If you don't have pectin on hand, you can use any other thickener. It can be agar, cornstarch, potato starch, or even gelatin. Although, with gelatin, we will not get the same state as we get when using pectin or the same agar. The puree is warmed up. I begin to pour the sugar mixed with starch gradually and constantly stir the mass. Now everything will unite itself and begin to thicken. It is important to catch the density here. I bring it to about the hottest point, boiling point, and boil for 10 more seconds. 10 seconds have left. 
The sauce has thickened. I add the berries. And I change the whisk to the shoulder blade. Now I need to boil the sauce with the berry. The berry will release a little juice. The juice will also be mixed with the rest of the pectin. And I will get the sauce I wanted. Thick enough. Liquid enough. For this recipe, purees such as raspberries, black currants, cranberries and black currants mixed. And also strawberry purees are ideal. Now I have used raspberry puree in a mixture with whole cranberries. That's it, the recipe is ready. The result is such a liquid mass. When it starts to become cold, the pectin will start to work, and it will be thicker, sauce-like, so to speak, perhaps even somewhere similar to jam. We see how such a jam state is already forming on my skimmer. That's what we need. Ready. We need to wait until the cake is baked, take it out from the oven and pour over this wonderful sauce. Check out its caramel color. The dough is baked. It is just wonderful, nothing ran away anywhere. It will now cool down, become more stable, and I will take it out of the form. Here is this caramel layer. It is so delicate. That's just the flavor. It's just crazy. I'm making cranberry sauce for this cake. Now I'm going to squeeze it into the center out of a pastry bag. I changed it in advance. And now I will squeeze out like this in a circular motion. This sauce is jam-like. Super. This cake will go with any festive table. Now we will cut it. In fact, it should fly out of a form. Oops, see how tender it is. The pie just moves all over. I assure you, having cut such a piece is just a holiday. Guys, I'm incredibly happy with the result. I hope you are also inspired by this recipe. It's insanely delicious. This flavor drives me crazy. Subscribe to the channel, like us and click on the bell in order not to miss such videos. Subscribe to us on social networks, we will be happy to delight you every day with something new. And do not forget that we have always prepared something secret for you in this video and in the previous one as well. You already know that we have secrets. Those who found, write comments, I found it, such and such. Well, at such a minute, there are there, or here. And we will definitely play between those who found our gifts. I say goodbye to you until new releases, bye.